everybody, we're here with James Brown at Winter NAM 2018. Uh, James, for those of you who don't know, uh, well, well regarded, well renowned amp builder. James, why would people know you? Well, I worked at PV for 20 years building amps, and I was the main engineer on like the 5150 and the classics, a lot of that kind of stuff. JSX was like one of the amps I did. And uh, about nine years ago, I started this amp tweaker company to help people get the kinds of mods and things that I would do on your amp in a pedal format. And then today, we're, we're actually introducing my amplifier. I had it blocked by the neck, sorry, but this is a prototype of my first amp tweaker amp. Very cool. So um, any of you guys that play metal, Basically, any amp that came out that's a high-gain amp in the last 20-plus years is definitely influenced by this man's work. So uh, go ahead and walk us through the amp features, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do some flyby. We'll get some cut and stuff for it. Okay. Sounds good. So basically, it's a two-channel amp with a gain and volume boost that's uh, similar to what I have on all my pedals. And probably the most important feature as far as tone things is it's got a tight knob on it. A lot of guys do switches and stuff like that to get a couple of variations. And the tight knob is, is my take on being able to adjust the attack of the note. So basically when you when you want the notes to stop real hard or you want it to be thicker. So it's a real important tool to be able to dial in for your guitar and your playing style, your pick strings, you know, how hard you hit the strings, stuff like that. So you say this is a this is the prototype. Uh, as far as the aesthetic of the amps goes, is it similar to what you'll be putting out? About about the main change is I am planning on making the chassis a little shorter. This was a chassis I had that I could just use to get something started, you know. And uh, I am going to make a different, a little bit different grill on it, but basically it's going to be like this. I've got the chassis angled back a little bit, so when you're on a half stack or a little combo version, you'll be able to see it good and read the controls and everything like that. No, that's fantastic. I got to be honest with you. I'm a type of I love. I hate to say an unassuming amp, right? So fairly, uh, fairly kind of classic design. Right. But when you hear tones like that coming out of here, like, oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Now the one thing that's important though is. In addition to getting that kind of sound, there's also a clean channel on this that does a lot of different clean tones. All right, let's take a listen to that. It's a simple channel. It has gain and master, and then there's a tone. There's a single tone knob, but it also has that tight control. You turn the tight. If I turn the tight down, it's more fendery, I guess you'd say. Turn it up, and it's more like a Vox kind of a vibe. It, it, sound, it sounds great with humbuckers as well, so that's nice. Right. And if you crank it all the way up, you can get into a little, a little bit of, of uh, cranked up. You know? Yeah, definitely get some of that, 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 that cranked edge of break up. Uh, then when you go kick this boost on, the boost has a gain boost and a volume boost. So you can make that, that either both channels get louder or more heavy with the gain boost. And of course that also works on the lead channel. make it get a lot louder for the solo or whatever as well. Sure, sure, sure. Sounds fantastic. So when do you expect uh, any ETA on when this might be available? We're planning on getting them out probably in about four months. And, I'm, and, and right now I'm, I'm looking at doing maybe a Kickstarter next week to help that process along. So uh, be looking for that on my website, amptwigger.com. Well, we will definitely be looking for that. Uh, as we all are fans of James' work, right? Everyone has played and loved the 5150 and their variants. So we will put a link to his site, and uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, some support for you guys. Appreciate that. So what about your pedals? Let's take a look at some of those. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the pedals. Okay, so this we've been building this product line up for about eight years now, and probably our biggest seller is the Titan Metal Pro. <clears throat> see he's got those same two knobs on there to do the boost function so you start off with a, a nice metal sound here okay. that's a 
built-in noise gate. I didn't mention that on the amp, but the amp also has a built-in noise gate. Wow. So you don't have to, and you, so you're not having to turn that off when you go to the clean sound. It's just the right only in the lead channel. Very cool. Very so cool. All of my distortion pedals have built-in gates for the same reason. You can kick on the distortion. You don't have to have a second pedal to drive on it. They That's all, fantastic. They all have multiple loops on them. This has a loop on the back that comes on with the pedal. And there's a second one that comes on with the boost. So like on this, I have this this boost. I've got it set, up, set up so when you play it, you hit the boost, the solo comes on. You've got more gain, more volume, and a delay all at the same time. So you go from to I forgot to turn it on, sorry. Turn it on. So it just goes back to the normal tone and you and the delay goes off automatically. On the side here, there's another loop called sidetrack, and this is a real popular feature. What it does is it comes on when the pedal's off. So what you do is you patch whatever else you want to switch back to in there, like this tremolo, and even though it's on, it's not in the circuit right now. I hit this. So with one click, you're going between the tone of this and whatever you've got patched in. You know, that you could have this distortion here. When you hit this, it overrides it. Or in this case, I have two metal pedals here together. I can leave this one on. You're only hearing that one because it's on. It's the master. You do this, you get the other one. So it's just a really cool way to, to be able to alternate between two completely different things with one click instead of having to turn one off and the other one on. Man, I can tell you as a, as a guitar player who sings live, the simpler I can make my stomp set up, the better. So that is really yeah. fantastic. That's very cool. It's pretty neat. A lot of guys, they'll take, they'll set their, set their clean stuff behind the, the front row and they'll put this at the front and then you can just preset your clean stuff for that song yeah. and preset your lead boost things in the loop. Then you just got one button to have to click to go between those two things. Man, that's fantastic. Well, hey, James, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. And uh, like I said, we'll put a link to uh, your site on there. And if you guys get that Kickstarter going, we'll definitely uh, do what we can yeah, to get some support it. out that way. All right, man. Good talking to you. Thank you.